All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot called Musico. It, it plays music, it's got some filters, and we're going to check it out here today. So as is our traditional fashion, I start out these by kicking the bot from the server, so I can show you how to invite it. And in this particular case, you can do one of two things. You can either grab the invite link from their post on top.gg, or what I've increasingly liked to do is I go to server settings, and then I go to the app directory, and I look for the bot itself by looking up Musico. And here it is at the top. It's on 22,000 servers, and all it really tells you on this page is it's the perfect music experience on Discord. And then similarly, if you look at it over on its top.gg page, it, look, it tells you about a few other features it's got. It's got a nice little UI for like playing and stop buttons. It's got a little song request channel that you can set up using the setup command. It's got previous song history. And about the only other thing I can figure out is it's tagged using Spotify. So I would guess that it at least uses Spotify, although I do know something else about the bot that I will show you in a moment. So let's go ahead and add this to our server by clicking the Add to Server button. I just want to put it on my test server and give it whatever permissions it wants. Then I will confirm that I am not secretly a Cylon, and then boom, it should appear on our server right here, Musico the bot, and then we can take a look at what all it does for different commands. So at the top, you've got the general commands. These are things like the setup command, which can be used to create a dedicated song request channel for this bot. You can get help information, which I'm guessing is a link to their support server, and then your premium status, and then voting on it to unlock certain voter-only features. You've also got the different music commands, like the history command that'll tell you songs that you were listening to, just in case you missed them. So you can see which ones were played. It's got now playing, join, leave, loop, start, stop, all that good stuff is available here. And you can even tactfully remove songs from the queue if you want as well. You've also got the standard premium features, autoplay, 24 seven mode, different storage of playlists, default volume to change like how loud the bot is when it first enters the channel. And you can create, delete, which I'm guessing is create or delete channels, info, load, save, and save queue. And then down here is your typical filters, being able to turn on bass boost or karaoke mode or vaporwave. All of those things that we've come to know and love from a lot of different bots are available through Musico. But for the most part, I'm mostly curious into what the quality of the music playback is like. So I'm gonna hop into a voice channel and we're gonna start playing some music. So I like to play NCS because it's never, it, it doesn't get me pinged by YouTube for copyright. So we're gonna start with Alan Walker with Dreamer. And then we can also play, what else is good? Alex Shrindo falling down. We can also play Jaja Bad Habit. and Riggs Paper Walls. So that's a good little cross section of songs to add to the queue. And the first thing I'll point out right off the bat is up here in the now playing section, you have the option via the buttons to start, stop the music and resume it. You can skip ahead to the next song and you can also loop the song so it just continues to play automatically. So that's all very nice. And the bot, as I'm sure you can hear, actually jumped into the channel almost immediately and started playing like music. I didn't really have to wait overly long for the bot to think about it and to start playing music, which is really nice. Let me just turn that down a little bit more so I can think while I talk. So it's got very nice playback. It's very responsive. Let's go ahead and ping the bot itself using the administrative command to see what the latency of the bot is. So right now it's about 3.43 in the afternoon. It's a little bit before like peak hours in the United States. And the ping is about 33 milliseconds, which is really good. A lot of bots would average between 20 to 120 milliseconds. So this is well within what I expected. 
And then we can also do things like we can type in slash setup and that will automatically create a channel for us. Oh, unfortunately we have to vote on that to activate that to get a premium channel. So if we wanted to have like the dedicated song request channel, all you'd have to do is vote for it. And then it would make, a, you know, like an automatic music controls channel where it would only function in that channel for anyone who isn't an admin. And then you could control it through there, which is nice. I like having a dedicated channel for music controls. So if you're looking for that, use setup. Although for whatever reason, I'm having trouble with top.gg today. So I'm unfortunately not going to vote on it today, but just know that you can create a dedicated channel with the slash setup feature. So what other features do we want to check out? Well, obviously we could check out the queue because one of the features that you can get by paying for it is the ability to save your queue as a playlist and then load that whenever you want. So here you can see it was playing Dreamer and now we're on to Bad Habit and that's gonna be followed by Paper Walls. And if we wanted to, we could at any time just skip ahead by going forward to Paper Walls if we wanted to. So another thing that we have as a feature is we can also look at the song history. So we can look at history. Oh, let's see, history. Oh, well, it says that one of the options is to look up history, but when I type in slash history, I'm not getting anything. So I guess that feature is maybe still in the experimental phase and not currently available which is unfortunate because that's one of their big like advertising points. But personally, like I can just look up here in the queue to see what we were looking at before. Like I can say, oh, before this we were playing Bad Habit. And then before that it was Dreamer by Alan Walker. And I can just click on it. So that's kind of nice that you have the ability to always see back here. But unfortunately it doesn't look like the history like command does anything. Let's go ahead and look at the stats for this particular bot. So uptime, it's been currently running since its last restart or downtime for maintenance for a day, six hours and seven minutes. That's pretty cool. It's on 22,000 servers. It's got a 35 millisecond ping and it's used by like a million users. So that's a lot for a small bot. And then you've also got things like filters, which I'm not terribly worried about. If you like filters, it's great. I personally don't use them. So I, it's nice that they have those for people that are interested, but it's not really my jam. Things like autoplay and 24 seven mode are kind of nice, especially if you have a big server. But for the most part, like these particular tools, I don't personally need. What I'm really interested in is just the music playback quality and it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and stop the bot real quick. And you can use the slash commands to start, stop, resume, all of that stuff as well. So don't feel like you have to use the buttons if it's quicker to just tab out, type in a command and go. Um, one of the things, unfortunately, that is potentially going to get Musico in trouble is Musico will still, as of me making this video, play music from YouTube via a link. So to show you how that works right now, I'm going to grab a URL and type in slash play and then put in the URL for Sin Cole's Reflect, and I will show you that it will actually load up the YouTube video and start playing the actual song. So it might play music from Spotify, but it also plays music from YouTube still, which will get them in trouble. And that's not something I kind of want for a lot of music bots. Like YouTube has been pretty bloodthirsty lately, they will eventually find out that you're playing music from YouTube onto Discord, and both Discord and YouTube are sh cracking down on that because Discord doesn't want to get sued, and you don't want to get in tr trouble with YouTube's lawyers. I would sincerely recommend uh, not doing that and removing that functionality from the bot because I want bot developers to be successful because without bots, Discord's a much more boring place. Um, that said, while it's there, I guess use it because you can play YouTube music with Musico for the moment. Um, hopefully YouTube doesn't get up on their case and send them a scary cease and desist. And to the developers of Musico, I would recommend removing that functionality ASAP so that you don't give YouTube an excuse to come after you because that's what happened to Hydrobot and now Hydrobot has had to remove all music functionality 
and instead they are doing uh, just utility bot instead. So that's going to be it for Musica for the most part. We're just kind of checking out the different ability for it to play music and some of its other more interesting features like being able to see the queue. And you can even use the queue remove songs list like so you can go queue and then you can remove there it is you can remove a song from the queue or you can remove a number from the list as well so that makes it nice to be able to remove songs from the queue as well so you have full controls over that which is very nice so that's just a brief look at musico i hope you found this video helpful I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.